so this first crush I had when I was very young, I would say like, you know, eight years old, he was a very famous pop star, um, solo, not in a band. He was like the Justin
the ship and that I got walked down the aisle. 
He is in a very popular series that is long since ended, where he played a biker in a biker gang. He's been in a couple other movies since, I'd say, and I don't know, I'm not an expert here, but I'd say none that are like, were like major, major like blockbusters that like the world knew about since, but some really good movies. Who I'm talking about here is Charlie Hunnam, Charlie Hunnam, aka Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. Now I started watching Sons of Anarchy, I want to say when I was in college. It was not like it, I forget when it originally came out, but this is when I got Netflix and I got a TV in my room and I started my love relationship with Netflix and bingeable series. Breaking Bad was first, Sons of Anarchy was next. Um, and side note, I did love Jesse Pinkman a little bit from Breaking Bad, but he was not a hard throb, right? Like he was, he wasn't man enough for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, Charlie Hunnam is just a gorgeous man and he seems like a really sweet person. Um, I do not like long hair on a man usually, like I just have never really been into that. But Jack Stellar's character has kind of the longer hair, like down to the shoulders. And that's the only time I've ever been attracted to a man that has like long hair. I forget how old he is today, but he's still gorgeous. Um, oh my god, he, that is just one beautiful man. Okay. So, next one. I have always loved, I don't, I wish he played cuter characters <laughs> so that it could feed more into my fantasy world, right? He's played a lot of, uh, uggos. <laughs> Except for, there's been two movies that I can think of off the top of my head, I'm sure there's more, where he's, like, really, really attractive. But the one, he is abusive. Like, his character's abusive to women, so obviously that completely gives the ick, right? And then in the other one, he is really hot. And one of my other crushes, so it's, so this one movie that I actually just watched the other day, two of my crushes are in. If you can guess this one, like, you are really good. Two of my crushes together. It's like an, it's like, um, it takes place, like, it's like a western about this family of, like, mobster, like, moonshiners that they make moonshine and they're brothers or whatever the case and they're, like, gangsters. But he's, again, he's a badass, like, gangster, moonshiner guy, but he's sensitive and, like, loving to, like, the woman that he loves. And then one of my other boyfriends is in it, and he plays, like, a younger, more naive moonshiner guy. To get a better, easier clue, this guy. Um, oh, I guess that's too much of a giveaway. Okay, I'm talking about Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy played Bane in Batman. Um, he was also in that movie where he played a twin. I can't remember the name of it. If you know, you know. If not, Google it. Tom Hardy twin movie. And he played himself and his twin brother. And that's the one I'm referring to where the very suave twin brother was sexy, but like he like hit his girlfriend or wife and I was like, ah. I was like, I don't want to watch this. Um, Tom Hardy, I think, is really sexy. He's also in a series with another one of my boyfriends. <laughs> where his character is not cute. And not cute at all. And he's like a slime bag in the in the car in the show. It's a show. So if you can guess all through that, you're you're amazing, and you know your 
preview for something that he's going to be in when I was at Oppenheimer. And again, he like wasn't cute. I'm like, can we get him to play the heartthrob one more time before he's like 60? Like his character in Don't Look Up or whatever that movie was, Jennifer Lawrence and Jonah Hill. Not cute. Nerd. I mean, that movie was fucking horrible, which is surprising because Leo never usually does movies that that bad, but like once upon a Hollywood, once upon a time in Hollywood, he wasn't cute. Like, I need a new like hot Leo movie <laughs> character. Um, and then okay, so my final one who can guess, who can guess my most recent, my most recent crush. This man is someone who is out of all these guys probably closest to my age. I think he's like 36, 35. He's married. His wife is gorgeous. I never... He's also been an actor for, like, when he was a teen and stuff. He's definitely had some big roles. But I would say the role that he played most recently was his biggest and his, like, breakout into, like, all of America. Like really kind of falling in love with him. I'm sure I'm not the only one. He had a mustache in this movie, which I'd like die for love. And he played a fighter pilot, a top, you know, one of the best in the country fighter pilots. I'm talking about Miles Teller. If you have not seen Top Gun Maverick, I don't care if you like airplanes or don't like airplanes. You think I care about fighter pilots now. I really don't have any interest there. He, his character is so cute in this movie. He's tan. He's ripped. He's got the mustache. He's got the hair. Like, he's a good guy in it. He's not really like a badass or anything. He's just like confident and cute. And the scene where they're playing football on the beach, I must have watched 46 times where he does his little dance like so hot and Miles Teller is actually from Pennsylvania although he mostly grew up I believe in Florida but he comes back here often and he like he's a he's a Phillies fan like Philly sports so he loves the Eagles he loves the Phillies he goes to like Phillies and Eagles games like when the Phillies were in the World Series last year like he was like here all the time at the games um and he goes down the shore so he was in Cape May actually which is a shore point that I don't normally go to last summer oh my god I can't even I'm gonna cry so I happened to be in Cape May last summer one day celebrating a friend's birthday at a restaurant it's you know eight o'clock at night whatever I see a post on Facebook later that Miles Teller was at a bar I think it was like Dead Dog Saloon or something or Old Dog I don't remember I don't go to Cape May but he was literally at a bar down the street I google maps that it was like less than a quarter mile or something or something of where I was at the same time I was there like I literally could have just strolled into the bar and met him I would have died like I've met celebrities I've met Kylie Jenner I've met Paris Hilton. I've met, um, I don't know, who else have I met? Uh, whatever. People like that. I've met Travis Scott. I've met Tyga. I've met Odell Beckham. I have never met, like, one of my celebrity crushes. Ow, my God, my leg is falling asleep so bad. I've never met one of my celeb crush. I've never met Leo. I've never met any of them. Um, I feel like it's possible I could meet Miles. Like, I could see him down the shore. I don't know. I don't know. But hopefully one day. Um, so I was very devastated that I was so close to him, yet so far <laughs> didn't even know it. Like, oh, God. If I had known, I would have abandoned all my friends and ran down there. So, 
he's really, oh, Kit, Kit Harrington or something. He's really hot too. And I loved him in Game of Thrones. Um, especially him when he was, I waited for him to hook up with, um, Khaleesi like the entire time and finally he did. Um, so yeah, those are all my celebrity crushes through the years. Um, not sure who will be next. Right now I'm still, still into Miles, although, um, the, you guys know I make my, my celebrity crushes, like my phone background, so, um, the phone background I have currently is this man right here. If it would focus. Do you guys recognize him? That's my husband, Tony. Okay, so once again, disclaimer, I love my hubby. <laughs> I'm really just in love with these fictional characters, as we all are. That doesn't go away or turn off when you have, when you're with in a relationship, and it's okay. Tony loves Dua Lipa. was fucking gorgeous, but I actually have been told a couple times that I look like her. Again, ew, I hate even saying that because I do not look like her. Like, she's gorgeous. Not that I'm not gorgeous. You know what I'm saying. But it's just funny that somebody has, multiple people have told me that. He also loves Mila Kunis, and he loves Megan Good. Those are the women that he's like, he doesn't talk about or get like all like, obsessed about celebrity crushes the way that I act like a teenage girl, but those are just three of the women that he, um, has said he thinks are really gorgeous in life, so, um, yeah, Dua or Mila or something would be his whole 